Sports are supposed to be about fun and entertainment, nothing more. Of course, many of us fans use sports as life. We often think of it as the most important thing, but sadly, some moments in sports have been so horrific that we come to realize how fragile human life is. I'm Daquan Young, and today we present the 10 scariest moments in sports. And a big shout out to Rock Source for suggesting this video. We'd also like to warn that these videos show horrific injuries, blood, and even death. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Number 10, Alex Cobb's liner to the head. Tampa Bay Rays pitcher Alex Cobb was on the mound in a June 2013 game against the Kansas City Royals. Facing batter Eric Hosmer, Cobb suffered a concussion and cut on his ear after being hit in the head by a line drive. Cobb had to get stretchered off, but was thankfully okay and avoided severe injuries. Number 9, Malice at the Palace. The Detroit Pistons and Indiana Pacers faced off in Arbor Hills on November 19, 2004. Pistons star Ben Wallace got into it with Pacers standout Ron Artest, but that was only the beginning. Ben Wallace is fouled, and Wallace did. Oh, oh Wallace! Right at Artest! This has potential to be serious if they don't get between. Wallace upset. Players trying to hold each other off. Steven Jackson will receive Wallace trying to be peacemaker. Now Jackson yelling. Wallace still going. You need the a fan threw a drink at our test, and a huge brawl ensued involving both players and fans. Over the scorers table and is trying to get down to the bench. Our test is in the stands. Oh, this is awful. Fans are getting involved. Steven Jackson's in the fans. Rashid Wallace going into the stands. The security trying to somehow restore. Nine players were suspended, but none got it worse than our test. He was suspended for 86 games and lost nearly $5 million in salary. Number 8, Yuri Fisher collapses. Fisher's Detroit Red Wings hosted the National Predators at Joe Louis Arena on November 21, 2005. We certainly wish it was only a hockey game that took place at the Joe, but a horrific incident took place instead. While on the bench, Fisher collapsed unexpectedly. Sullivan, what's going on over at the Red Wing bench? Something's happened over there. Somebody's hurt. Uh oh. They are. Uh... They're yelling for a medic immediately. They're trying to get doctors, stretchers, somebody's down. Fisher had gone into cardiac arrest, but he was resuscitated by doctors and was taken to the hospital. Sure, if, if it was a stick or a puck or... Oh boy. That's a scary scene. Um, oh my the game was canceled immediately and Fisher avoided taking any second chances and chose to retire. The team physician theorized that a racing heartbeat or unorganized cardiac rhythm led to Fisher collapsing. Thankfully, he survived and has remained close with the Red Wings organization since. Number 7. Fabrice Moamba collapses. Fabrice Moamba was living the dream. Born in Zaire, he dedicated his life to soccer and joined Arsenal in 2005. Moamba joined the Bolton Wanderers in 2008 and played for five years. During a March 2012 game, he unexpectedly went into cardiac arrest as concerned fans looked on. in some distress as well. Moamba's heart had been stopped for 78 minutes, but he fully recovered and survived the horrendous event. He retired shortly afterwards. Number six, Richard Zednick cut by skate. During the 2008 game between Zednick's Florida Panthers and the Buffalo Sabres, the hockey injury all players fear actually happened. You know what? They, oh, is that, it's his neck. What? They've got a towel on his neck. Dave Zanobi, the trainer there. Zednik tripped over Sabres forward Clark MacArthur and was accidentally cut by a teammate skate in the net. Zednik lost five units of blood, but his artery wasn't severed, which prevented him from suffering a potential fatal injury. He missed the remainder of the season, but came back for the 08-09 campaign. Number five, Kevin Ware's broken leg. Ware led Louisville to the Elite Eight against the Duke Blue Devils during 2013's March Madness. But in the first half, Ware landed awkwardly after trying to block a shot from Tyler Thornton. Oh, and there's the shot right there for three. Thornton, he's been a presence from outside. Ware's injury became front page news worldwide because of the horribly graphic photos that showed the leg completely snapped. Oh, they are just visibly as a team completely shaken. Oh, wow. You saw it on the backside there, folks. Louisville, playing with heavy hearts, defeated Duke en route to winning the national championship. So at least there was a happy ending from this horrific event. Number four, Joe Theismann's broken leg. Joe Theismann was on the path to greatness in the NFL. He led the Washington Redskins to a Super Bowl championship and won the 1983 NFL MVP. 
But during a game on November 18, 1985, Theismann suffered a broken leg after being sacked. Lawrence Taylor, who slams, Theismann to the ground at the 42 yard line. The blitz was on, and not necessarily a good play to have Paul, and quickly Lawrence Taylor is up, saying Theismann is. Sadly, the broken leg injury wound up ending his career. Number three, Clint Malarchuk's graphic injury. Malarchuk was in net for the Buffalo Sabres against the St. Louis Blues on a March 22, 1989 game. Blues players Steve Tuttle and Sabres defenseman Yui Krupp went towards the net and crashed into Malarchuk. Wow. Uh, watch Malarchuk. That's a story right now with a rip. Oh, look in. That is the... Oh, God. Oh, please take the camera off, oh, but don't please. even bring it over there, please. Oh, my God. According to reports, Two fans had heart attacks from the gruesome sight. 11 spectators fainted and multiple players vomited from the horrific scene. And we're just thankful he survived. Number two, Dale Earnhardt's fatal crash. Dale Earnhardt was one of the greatest drivers in NASCAR history. He was the winner of the 1998 Daytona 500 and won 76 Winston Cup races. Tragically, the legend of Dale Earnhardt ended on February 18, 2001 at the Daytona 500. Earnhardt and Ken Schrader crashed into the wall and the former was killed from a horrific collision. His cause of death was ruled to be blunt force trauma to the head. But Mr. Earnhardt's legacy will live on forever. Number one, the Hillsborough disaster. On April 15, 1989, Liverpool and Nottingham Forest faced off at Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield, England. Sadly, the game has barely remembered itself to this day. What's remembered is one of the most tragic moments in human history. 96 people were killed 766 injured from a human crush. Initially, police thought it was a pitch invasion. But soon people were collapsing on both sides of the fence. Ambulance volunteer climbed over the fence onto the terrace. By then, people had already died or were dying. At the back and front of the pen, supporters were trampled in the desperation. Others tried to get out however they could. Then, at 16 minutes. Without a doubt, one of the scariest moments in human history. What's sad is, how would you ever expect that to happen from a soccer game? What do you think is the scariest sports moment ever? Join us in the comments below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we truly appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around a Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.